Welcome back to the channel everyone and if you're new here my name is Victor and today I'm back with another Adobe After Effects tutorial. Today I'll be covering how to create water text. Now before we jump in just got to give you a heads up that this effect does involve a third party plugin from Red Giant called Chromatic Aberration. Alright with that out of the way go ahead and open up Adobe After Effects. I've already got some footage of me in there so I'm going to go up to the text tool grab that and then create a new text layer and I'm just going to type in water text. I then went over to the align tab got it centered and then hit P on the keyboard to bring up the position values and then just lowered that to the lower thirds of the frame. Now go to layer new adjustment layer and then go ahead and search for that effect called chromatic aberration. You'll find that in the red giant VFX folder if you have it. When I was doing this effect, I came across a bug that as soon as I would add that chromatic aberration, it would turn my footage black and white or just give me a white screen. And it didn't used to do that. And I was looking into it, couldn't figure it out, but I just reinstalled an older version of the effect and it works fine. So if you run into that same thing, I'd try that out. Now in the effect controls of the chromatic aberration, go ahead and change the displacement layer to your text layer and then change it from source to effects and mask. And then change the displacement layer alpha to ignore. Now you'll see that nothing's happened yet to your text and that's because we haven't boosted the displace amount. I boosted my displace amount to 75, but just a heads up, these values are probably going to be different for you based on how big you're making your text. I then lowered the soften displacement to 0.6 and the spread chroma to 50 because we don't want a ton of RGB distortion. And then the last thing that we're going to do on this chromatic displacement is increase the spread quality to 100. Now search for the effect called turbulent noise and then add it to your text layer. I changed the fractal type to strings and the noise type to linear. And now search for the effect called tint and add that to your text layer. And I'm sure by now you've noticed that we can still see our text layer but then we have this glassy version of the text layer that's above it and if you move the position of the text layer only that original text layer moves and not that glassy version and if you move the position of the adjustment layer that glassy version doesn't move at all but don't worry because we'll be adding an effect later that will sync those up i changed the map white to a lighter blue color and the map black to a darker blue color now search for the effect called rough and edges and add that to your text layer as well i changed my border to 10.7 and the edge sharpness to 0.4 now search for the effect called turbulent displace and add that to your text layer after that you'll see that those two layers are now synced up and if you move the position of the text layer they will move together. I changed the displacement to turbulent smoother and changed the amount to 30 and the size to 7. So now we've got this bumpy glassy look on something that says water text but it's not moving so we have to keyframe the evolution on both turbulent displace and turbulent noise. So from the beginning of the effect on turbulent displace, turn on the keyframe stopwatch for evolution and then move to the very end of the effect and boost it up. You can change this based on however you want the look to be, but I did it a little bit slower. So over the course of 10 seconds, it only went up 14x. So now if we play it back, we can see that the edges of the water text are moving and displacing, but that's still not good enough because we need the inside to move as well. So that means we're going to have to keyframe the evolution on turbulent noise now. So again from the beginning of the effect for turbulent noise turn on the keyframe stopwatch for the evolution and move to the end of the effect and boost it up. I went 4x over the course of 10 seconds. Now if we play it back it looks like we're looking into a pool or aquarium or maybe the ocean but if the colors are too intense for you here's what we're going to do next. Hit T on the keyboard to bring up the opacity and then just lower the opacity of that text layer to about 30 or 40 and and that will dull that color down or you can just turn off that text layer and that glassy layer will still be there and still be feeding off of all of those effects that you already have on the text layer but you won't be able to see the color and then that's it that is how you create water text and after effects i hope you enjoyed this video and learned something if you did leave me a thumbs up comment what you thought down below and then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one